awesome. Let's jump into energy metabolism. So I'm going to talk to you guys about energy metabolism and how it works. And I'm going to introduce a macronutrient to you that I actually haven't talked to you about before. Um, because I always talk about macronutrients, the big three being fat, carbs, and protein. There's another form of, essentially form of carbohydrate that's a little bit different, and that's how this thing works, right? So you have two major, main forms of energy in the body. You have carbs, and you have fat. We'll call them fatty acids, right? Not triglycerides, fatty acids, that's what get burned. So with your macronutrients, you have carbohydrates and fatty acids, and you have another one, which is fat, right? So I'll get rid of these numbers for now. So you have fat, carbs, protein. There is technically a fourth macronutrient. It's just a type of carbohydrate, and that is alcohol, okay? So we're talking about alcohol. Now, if we do it this way, let me just put fat here, make this easier. No, we're talking about fatty acids, okay? Protein and alcohol, right? So carbs and protein, they have four calories per gram. Now, fat, this is why fat got demonized, because it has the most calories per gram. And when people thought that calories in, calories out told the whole story, that's how you get fat. You eat too much fat, it's got too much caloric density, right? So that's what happens. So now you have fat, which is nine calories. Holy crap, it's more than twice, because calories matter. They're so important, right? So nine calories per gram of fat. Now these alcohols, which are, can also be called sugar alcohols, essentially, they have seven calories per gram. Now what happens in order is the body is going to metabolize these things in a certain order. Now this is actually mixed up. I should have planned this better. I improv this shit. It's free, whatever y'all. So the body will burn alcohol first. It will burn carbohydrates, AKA glucose second. Now, protein doesn't technically get burned. It has to be broken down into either amino acids or converted into glucose, so that one doesn't actually count. Let's do this. So these are the three macronutrients, right? Alcohol, carbohydrates, and fatty acids. In that order. So I want to be clear to you. As long as there is a surplus of alcohol and or carbohydrates, as long as there's excess alcohol or carbohydrates in your system, you will not burn fat. You simply won't, okay? So as long as there is alcohol or carbohydrates in your system, glucose, you're not gonna burn fat. This is why people talk about like when you're drinking alcohol and you go out partying like, oh man, alcohol ruins all my fitness goals because when I drink alcohol, I can't burn fat. Yeah, that's true, but it only matters if you're a high carbohydrate person, right? Like I could fast all day and go drink alcohol and a couple hours later when that alcohol is out of my system, I'll go right back to fat burning mode. So it's really not a big deal. Al I've told you this before, guys. Alcohol is not what makes you fat. It's beer and sugary wines and mixed drinks and triple sec and margaritas and blah, 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 right? Now, another thing I want to touch on with these alcohols is this is where you get your uh, zero calorie sweeteners, right? Like things like erythritol. So a lot of people in the academy have been posting these stevia products. Hey, what do you think of my stevia product? Number one ingredient, erythritol. What do you think of my stevia liquid? Number one ingredient, erythritol. What do you think of my stevia packet? that I use in my coffee, number one ingredient is erythritol, right? So these things aren't gonna get stored and make you fat, but they are going to prevent your body from burning fat as long as they are in your system. So you wanna minimize these things. I'm not saying they're the devil, I'm not saying they're horrible, I'm just saying that you don't want to be pumping your system full of them, okay? So, I wanna, uh, I think I'm gonna do this again, right? So I did this once before in an AMA, so this is actually a full-blown repeat, but I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go deeper with this stuff. I'm gonna use the gas tank analogy. So if any of you have seen the gas tank drawing, that's what I'm about to do, and it's super important. If you haven't seen it, uh, really, really pay attention to this because I'm basically gonna give you a masterclass on how your body burns energy and how to burn stored body fat. 